But one of the things about doing trips here and helping people like you and I have done to find our roots, and do you know that this is the this is the year of tourism for roots tourism? You yes, do yes, I do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good. Well, that's an ongoing process here to give money to um, comuni uh, towns that have five thousand or less inhabitants. They can apply for maximum of a six thousand euro. You want to call it a fund. Uh, to throw on an event for either private groups or public to attract people to come to this Borghi, B-O-R-G-H-I, Borgo, is a small village. They don't usually say villaggio, they say Borgo, or um, paese with a small p, or paesello, something like that. Not usually villaggio. Uh, and so it's been interesting because when I bring the travelers there, Bob, it's just interesting to see how they relax they're like, wow, we didn't expect this. This is Italy because mm -hmm. there's nothing iconic there. It's all folklore, thick music. It's all farm to table, no matter where you eat, even in a restaurant. Um, there's something about the Italian-ness of that place that resonates that if you look at the reviews that are subjective, Google reviews, most of them have nothing to do with Rome and Venice and other places I brought them. It's about the visit they had in a place that's less known, no tourists, and they feel the connection through me, the, let's call it osmosis, not, what do you want to call it, uh, connection through me to my family. That's a um, something that they really appreciate because usually when you're a tourist, people that are serving you as a tourist, there's only so much they're going to get to know you, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's inspired people. Um, to, in this last trip to Molise, for instance, there were four out of 45 people, four couples that had towns, in fact, one very close to your home origins, origins Cap, um, in, in Molise, Capricota, um, called San Pietro Navellana and Agnone, Agnone, 